Hey all you YouTubers out there, it's Naked Chef Sandra. I am going to make some candy pecans because I'm going to try and have like a little bake sale. So this is what's up. We got for each pound of pecans that you do, you do one egg white and then you put one teaspoon of water for egg white. And I got like my multi-measure spoons from Pampers Jeff. There you go. And this recipe also calls for vanilla. So you put your vanilla in with your or your egg whites. And I think it only says a half a teaspoon of vanilla. So I got two um, pounds of, um, what's it called? I got two pounds of. Pecans, so I'm gonna put in a whole teaspoon of vanilla. Here's my bowl. Wait, that's a little bit too much. There we go. Then you gotta like whip it up. I just do it by hand. You can do it with a machine or whatever. You just gotta whip it up until it's really super frothy. Or you can whip it up to like a medium to soft peak. That's when like you take your whisk or something and like pull it off of your, pull up your egg whites and then like a peak forms from it being so stiff. So I'm gonna whip these up real quick. So you see, with mine, there's not really any peak, I guess, per se. It's really super soft peak, if there is any peak. But, you know, just super foamy and able to, like, kind of, like, stick to all the nuts and, like, it's super thick, right? So, like, that's what, like, makes the sugar cling and harden up and make it more like a shell. And if you can do this, like, a lot, like, by hand, like, it doesn't take too long. Maybe it takes, you know, five minutes or something. Or you can just use an electric mixer if you prefer. So now, let's see. Then our recipe says you want a pound of pecans, but we have two because I go to Costco. I get these giant bags of pecans. So this is two pounds. And you just put them all in here. I kind of pull them evenly. And I just use my hand. You can use a spatula or whatever. But like I kind of just like go like this with my hand. And then twist everything and make sure all my pecans are coated with the egg white mixture. There we go. You see? Now everything's coated. 
There we go. And we got to get, let's see, we got to get half cup of brown sugar and a half cup of white sugar. And a tablespoon of cinnamon, a teaspoon of salt. And that is per pound of pecans. So we're going to double that because I got two pounds. So let's see. It's right over here. Teaspoon, tablespoon. Okay. I think I got everything over here. I got my... So, in a separate bowl, let's mix it in a separate bowl first. And then, like, so that everything kind of gets an even coating of stuff. Let's see, where's my bowls? Oh, here we go. I wonder if I have, like, oh, yeah, I have my multi measure thing over there. That's what I got. There we go. I have my oven set to 300. It's backwards for you guys because this is the front of my tablet, but I preheated my oven to 300. And I'm going to get my kosher salt. I got a big old box of kosher salt. Yeah, yeah. I like kosher salt for baking and stuff because it's like a little coarser grain as well as like the, um, um, what? It doesn't have any additives like I did. Okay. So let's do it up. I got, where's my guy? My multi measure guy from Pampered Chef. Let's see. For dry, he's at a half a cup already. Here, just like this. There you go. There you go. Here's half a guy. Then, we need half a cup of sugar. Actually, no, we need a whole cup. Because, um, we need a whole cup. We got two pounds. We need a whole cup of sugar. And this one's just a small one. It goes to a whole cup and um if you get this guy from pampered chef um then um i had one of these growing up it was a little bigger i think but just make sure that you do not put this guy in the dishwasher or else like you know you see this See how it likes to stick? It'll lose its um, like ability to stay up, right? Or stickiness, I guess, on its on the cup. So um, do not put it in the dishwasher. And um, then so you hand wash these guys, and then. Yeah, I like them. They're pretty cool. They do, um, their multi-measure guy is for, um, what's it called? For wet and dry. So here's my whole cup of sugar. And then here is brown sugar. It's going to be a cup still. Here we go. You see, like, this end is for, like, measuring liquids when it's down or whatever. Here we go, brown sugar. Mm -hmm. Let me just pack it all in there. Mm -hmm. Do we do? And pack up the brown sugar. There we go. Make sure it's nice and snug and hold your multi-measure or 
whatever I decide right underneath the um, lip so that it doesn't like scooch down, you know, or move anywhere. I'm packing it in. Okay. There we go. And there we go. There we go. And add that, and you can easily get it out easily by just pushing it in. You know? That's cool. And what else we got? And we gotta do a teaspoon of salt per um per um pound. So I got my multi measure, two teaspoons. There you go. And I got my kosher salt. Here we go. Two teaspoons. There you go. Okay, flatten it out a bit. There you go. Okay, and then we also got to do a tablespoon of cinnamon. Two tablespoons. Mm. Well, mm. One. Oops. Hmm. There's two. There you go. We did the two teaspoons. Yeah, we're just gonna mix it all together, like the salt and the cinnamon. And this one. Just like everything together, you know, brown sugar, salt, cinnamon, mix it all together. Mmm, be cold, so good. What is this? This is, I mean, it's just a piece of brown sugar. It's kind of weird. So you got your salt and everything. And now that your mixture is completed, we're going to mix it in our pecan. Okay. Now before I take it, hopefully they just get it like nope. You know, I need like a proper. Hmm. Here's it. Maybe this can be a proper. Yeah, like that. Yeah. There we go. Because I need to like dump out all this extra shit. I got my sheet pan here. Oh my god, I got that a lot of this. So, it's not picking my shit up. There we go. Then we got the um pecans. Yeah, dump it all in there. There you go. And then just mix it all in. Mm -hmm. This is going to be so good. Yum. That is all good. There we go. There we go. There we go. There we go. This is going to be so good. Yummy. Right? So now we got everything evenly coated, and we got our parchment lined pan right here. You just dump it on an even amount of it. There we go, there we go, there we go. 
Yeah, yeah. Okay. Good. I'm gonna sell these. I'm gonna put them in like a little um in like a little colorful snack baggie and we're gonna sell them too. It's gonna be so good. That's so good. I have cinnamon. Mmm. Not bad. It's good. Alright, and then we're gonna make it for an hour all together. But like every 15 minutes, so I just set four timers for 15 minutes all together. And um, every 15 minutes, you got to like stir it up, kind of make sure like it gets tossed around a little bit. And after four times of 15 minutes, they'll be done and like they'll be hard, like sh there'll be a hard shell. On the outside and it's really super good. All right, this is after for the first fifteen minutes. I just take them out. I'm just gonna stir them about a bit. Spread them back out evenly over the pea. There we go. And pop them back in for your second 15 minutes. And then you keep just doing that for all four sessions of 15 minutes. There you go. Oh, it came down. There you go. And we'll see what it's like when they're done.